Hello, my name is Tim Haddon, Product Manager for S Semantic Corporation. I'm going to be talking to you today about approaches for disaster recovery using the net back backup product line. Essentially, our customers have a, s a scenario where they need to recover from a full site disaster. Essentially, I'm going to go through three approaches. One is a dedicated DR site using our vault extension. The second is recovery without import, which is still a tape-based scenario, but it's, it's a much quicker uh, recovery time. And the third solution is the dual site, uh, single domain approach, which ties in uh, high availability and also incorporates um, the, the, the no use of tapes for that particular situation. So as you see in, this, in the scenario here, we have a production site, you have your master server, media server, all your clients essentially taping over. Tapes get sent over to your disaster recovery site. In this particular case, it's a dedicated disaster recovery site. Some of the benefits for this approach, really from a, from a testing perspective, you can test at your disaster recovery site without really impacting your production environment. As well, since you have a full catalog backup that's getting transferred over to your disaster recovery site, you can use our bare metal restore, which is the standard that we best practice that we uh, recommend for our customers in the disaster recovery situation. What bare metal restore does for the customers is give them the, the kernel level recovery so that application recovery can be seamless at the time we put the data on there. The next approach is the recovery without import. Essentially, what you have is two sites that you own, and you have two net backup domains leveraging replication of the image database. So essentially what that gives you and why it's better than the number one dedicated uh, DR site with Vault is essentially it's a faster restore, but this also assumes you have kernel level restores with this site. Since we're not doing a full recovery of this net backup because there are two net backup domains, we need, you need to have a, a means or a mechanism to get to that kernel level recovery. And then since we're doing the image database, the data recovery is, is much faster. The third approach is a dual site single domain. Essentially, we're going to leverage the global cluster option. These are two sites. We're also going to leverage optimized duplication. So essentially, this removes the need for any of the, any tape movement from this from this with this approach we can use pure disk for example to achieve this optimized duplication as well as our OST vendors which stands for open storage and essentially these are open storage devices that has optimized deduplication capabilities with this approach you're really removing your disaster recovery step since you're running a master server at each location, it's in a single domain from that standpoint with high availability options. The entire database is being replicated. It's really from this time of res to restore, it's just a recovery from one, one site or the other from that standpoint. So to summarize, the, the three steps, the dedicated DR site with Vault really is your tape. It's a good approach using tape and vaulting the, the, the pros to that is, is a cheaper solution, but also it takes a dedicated DR site. A better solution for faster recovery is the recovery without import, which essentially gives you the faster recovery time because you don't do a full catalog restore at the secondary site, but it also uh, requires you to have that kernel level recovery prior to taking that step. And lastly, the dual site single domain gives you that blending of high availability and disaster recovery, which a lot of our customers are doing today, 
but it, it basically eliminates that disaster recovery step. So these are the three approaches that you can use within that backup. They all come with varying degrees of recovery time objectives and costs associated with those. Thank you.